Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church on this Tuesday, the 9th of February. I'm so glad you could join me for Compline this evening. I invite you to follow along our service as it shows up on your screen in just a few moments. Your responses will be in bold. And so now as we begin our time together in worship, let us pause for just a few moments of holy silence. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm number four. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down at peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Mark. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off, for it is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame and to have two feet to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell, where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch to the Lord with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I ask you for your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving. And please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section below. This evening, we especially remember our parish members and friends who were ill, infirm, or in need, including Marty, Tom, Patricia, Liana, Jeannie, Tony, Judy, Wayne and his family, David, Leo, Matthew, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Mary and Scott, Loretta, Leonard, May, Rob, Eleanor, Chuck, Bridget, Bryce, Meredith and her family, Bill, Brooke, George, Jordan, Gladys, Nancy, and Jean. We pray for those we name with our lips or in our hearts. For those we have named in the comment section for our nation and for the world. And for all those who have asked for our prayers, but we cannot recall at this time. O God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good, and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Protect those who are compelled to work farms and fields, city streets and factories that put them in danger with little pay. Watch over all first responders, and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them all, Lord Christ, from all danger. And keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our service concludes with the Song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you all for joining me this evening for evening prayer. Um, tomorrow, uh, we will have uh, Compline again at 7 p.m. And just as a reminder, we will be um, having uh, Ashes to Go available this Saturday for pickup from 11 to noon. Um, so please uh, sign up for that. You can find the link for that in the description of this video. You can also find it on our website as well. So we hope to see you on Saturday. God's peace be with you all. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Amen. <laughs>